This is a tutorial on uh, Lab 2-2 two two and Chapter 3 and uh, let's start with Social Security. So if we click Social Security, first thing we notice here in the formula bar is that you've got E4 times B16. The B16, because it's in this tax rate table down here, those are absolute numbers. So this B16, if you click on the B16 and hit F4 on your on your um, keyboard, it changes it to absolute. See, now it says dollars $B, dollars $16. That's actually what you want because you can't drag through these without without changing those, but now you can. So now if I drag through, you still have the same numbers, but what you did with yours is you uh, had to enter each individual formula here because you didn't have an absolute, so it was changing your formula for each one. So now let's go to Medicare. Medicare is E4 times B17. So if we go up to the formula bar, we're going to type equals E4 times B17. So we go down to B17. And then we have to hit F4 on the keyboard to make it absolute. So now it says E4 times dollars B dollar 17. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there. I'm going to go back up to that cell, grab the fill handle and drag down through. So now we've got our formulas set up. So each formula has B17 in it. You can see that. So next one we're going to do is federal income tax. Federal income tax is a little bit different because that's an if statement. And it is equals if F4 is less than or, or equal to 739. So we go down here where it says under 739 it's 15 percent over 739 is 25 percent so we're going to have to put that in our if statement so equals if and then I'm going to go ahead and click the blue icon that says if there and that actually sets it up so now we've got our logical test our true value and our false value down here because we uh, click the if statement itself so we go to F4, taxable income is less than or equal to 739, then, and the then is designated with a comma, and now we're going to do our true, true statement. You notice that down here it says value if true. It's, it's darker than the rest of them because that's what we're doing now. We're going to do F4 again times B18. So we're going to go down to B18 because it's under. Okay, and then we're going to hit F4 to make it absolute. That way it always goes to that cell. And then we're going to comma. And it's 1, 11085, 110.85 plus. And then we're going to do this function separately, so we have to put it in parentheses. So we're going to do parentheses, F4, again, minus 739, because we have to take the 739 back out. And then we're going to close out with a parentheses, times B19. So now we're going to do B19. So we'll click here, we'll click F4 for absolute. So now what we're saying is if it's less than, then we get one result. If it's greater than, then we're going to do 110.85. Whoops. What happened here? I made a mistake. Whoops. There we go. 110.85 plus F4 minus 739 times B19. 
Okay, so that's our formula. We have to close that because we started with parentheses. We've got to end it with parentheses. 135.10 is the correct number. So we're going to go ahead and drag that through. And then we've got our numbers all the way through for our federal income tax. State tax. So we're going to come over to state tax. State tax is I-4 times B-20. So up here equals I-4, which is our federal income tax, times B-20, which is our state tax right here. Okay, again, it's in the assumptions. It's in our tax rate, so we're going to make hit F4 to make it absolute. And then we're going to hit Enter. Okay, 3242. Now we can go ahead and drag that down through. And there we have our numbers for that. Okay, and then the last one is net pay. Net pay is your, uh, let's see, your federal tax. Oh, wait a minute. Net pay is your uh, gross pay plus uh, minus the sum of G4 through J4. So now we're going to subtract out our taxes for our net pay. So let's go ahead and write that one. So equals our gross pay. Okay, so that would be E4 minus, and then I'm just going to go ahead and type sum. Okay, that starts our, our parentheses, so we're going to go ahead and click that. And what we're summing is our taxes, so we're going to do Social Security tax through state tax, G4 through J4. We'll close that with a parenthesis, and then we have our net pay, so 743.05. And then we're going to go ahead and click on that one and drag the fill handle down. And there's our numbers for our net pay for each area. Okay, so you've got that. Now it's simple to fix this one. We've got your sum.